Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we are going to look at true bearings and compass bearings and the conversion between each of them. This will lead on to our next part of the trigonometry story, which is the application of bearings within trigonometry. Just as a recap, you would have learned this in previous years. There are 360 degrees in a circle. And likewise, there are 360 degrees within a compass. The points of our compass, north, east, south, west. And if you prefer, never eat soggy wheat picks. And the angles corresponding to each of those points. East is at 90 degrees. South is 180 degrees. West is 270 degrees. And North is back at either 0 degrees or 360 degrees. Now, there are two types of bearings that we'll be looking at. The first one is a true bearing. It's basically the number of degrees from north. It is written as a three digit number and has a T at the end of it. So for instance, 0, 45 degrees T is a true bearing. What that means is I need to start at north and I will go around the compass 45 degrees. Well, I know if I get all the way to here, that's 90 degrees. So I actually have to go to here, which is about 40. So if I wanted to draw that, this here would be something along 45 degrees, or that's about 45 degrees in there. So it would be 0, 4, 5, true. And a compass bearing, some textbooks actually have compass bearings referenced as surveyor bearings, but basically Basically, it's the number of degrees east or west of north or south. So, in other words, you're looking at this one here, north, 45 degrees west. So what this means is I start at north and I move around 45 degrees towards the west. I'm heading in this direction. And I will be going around 45 degrees and that there whoops, it's 45 degrees, see, it's, I've started north, I'm heading around 45 degrees in a westerly direction, and that bearing would be north, 45 degrees west. So we're going to look at a couple of examples converting between each of these bearing types. So first one, what I need to do here is I have a true bearing. It's the one in the brown. I want to convert that to a compass bearing. So all I really need to do here is say, well, am I in the north or the south? Well, up here, I'm certainly in the north. Am I east or west? I'm in the east. And the last bit I need to ask myself is, what is that angle there? That angle there well, is 80 degrees. So, my bearing will be north 80 degrees east. There must be an exciting video presentation here. My dog's snoring. Now, next one. Looking down here, 170 degrees true. Now, it's 170 degrees all the way around to there. Now, true bearings, sorry, compass bearings, Basically, I ask, am I south or north? Well, I'm in the south half. Am I east or west? And I'm in the east. And the last bit is, what is that angle there? If I start at due south, how many degrees east do I have to get? Well, that would be, well, I know it's 180 to here, so that, there, that angle would be 10. There you go. Next one. I'm certainly in the south and 
I know that I'm heading in a westerly direction. I'm looking for this angle here. So I know that there is 180. This angle here is 200. So how many degrees am I, am I heading from here to there? Well, that would be 20 degrees. This is 180. That there is 200. So my true bearing would be south because I started south and I'll head 20 degrees in a westerly direction. And the last one up here, looking here, am I north or south? Certainly north. Am I west or east? I am west. The last part of the equation is how many degrees west am I? So I start at north and how many degrees do I head in this direction? I head 10 degrees. I know north is at 360. So there you go. North 10 degrees west. This time we'll be starting with the compass bearings and converting these to true bearings. So true first one. The first true bearing is basically what is that angle there? I've started at north and I've headed 10 degrees east. So my true bearing would be 0, 1, 0, 2. In other words, that is 10 degrees. So I started at north and I've headed now. Yeah. The next one, this one down here. I'm going to go all the way around there. So what is that angle there? So this is saying that I'm at south and I've headed 10 degrees to the east. So in other words, in here, in there, is 10 degrees. I also know that this one here, on the S line, is 180. So if I head all the way around here, I get to 180. From here to here is 10. So this angle here will be 180 minus the 10. That there will be my true bearing. There we go, which is 170 degrees T. In other words, it's the, I'm looking for this angle all the way around there, and it is the 180, which will take me all the way to there. Then I'm going to go back 10. This one here, this time, it's the angle, it's all the way around there. See that? All the way to there. Now, I know it's 180 to there, and I've gone a further, well, how many more degrees? I've gone a further 40 degrees. I've gone further 40 degrees from here to here. So this angle will be 180 plus that 40, there you go, is 220. And the very last one, looking at this one, I am north 80 degrees west. Now, what is that angle there? That angle there is 80. That is, I started at north and I've headed 80 degrees to the west. Now, if I go a full revolution around this here, I'll end up with 360. So I can say that this bearing here will be 360 and I'll take away that 80. Oops, take away the 80. And that there gives you the answer, which is 270 degrees true. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation on the conversion between true bearings and compass bearings and you will have a better appreciation down the track when you start to use these in trigonometry. So until next time, good maths.